Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can do a validity list that is conditional. So for example, if you select Yorkshire, you will just see cities that are in Yorkshire. If you set Durham, select Durham, you would see cities in Durham and things like that. So I'm going to do that. And first of all, I need to type some lists. So for first one is going to be counties so Yorkshire and then coming across I'll just do three Durham and Northumberland and then what you have to do on that list is you need to highlight the three of them which I will do like that and then name them give them a name this feature really only works with named ranges so I'll call that county You must press enter on that and i'll just color that in so it stands out a little bit um we'll go for orange and then you list in the that's not orange orange all right i'll leave that black and i'll do this orange leads put the cities in now that you want so leads or cities and towns keithley Bradford, Bingley, I'll just do four and colour those in orange now, as soon as I clicked orange, Durham, we'll go for Durham City itself, Stanley, Seaham, and Concert. Or give them a different colour. Go for the uh, green. And then Northumberland will have Blythe, Cramlington, Ashington, and Hexham. And then I'll colour that one in. So these are my lists, and then I need to name these ones as well. So I'll just pick a different colour for that. So this list needs to be basically called by whatever that is. So that's called Yorkshire. So I'll type Yorkshire in there. Press enter. This green list needs to be called Durham. Press enter, and this purple list needs to be called Northumberland. Press enter. So I've named them. That's the black area is named county, and each of these are named by whatever the heading is. So Yorkshire, Durham, and Northumberland. What I need to do here is get myself a different colour. So I'll go for yellowish color so in there I need to refer to this list county so that's the validity list it's on the data tab and you should normally see it on a normal ribbon ribbon but I've got mine zoomed up because people keep commenting about that so I've now done it validity and then you are selecting it from this option here drop the arrow down I want to select a cell range and in you type equals county because that's the name of that list that's the name of the list in the black click ok to that and when you select that you should see the three items in the named range county so i'll click on yorkshire so now what i want to do is whatever i select in here in this cell i only want to see the relevant cities so i only want to see these in the orange area when i select yorkshire from this next box i'll just color it in a different color and pick a different color that color so in there and back to data do it on this one cross to validity what i have to do here is select cell range and then i'm going to do this equals indirect 
that's the function opening brackets and then typing in d1 because whatever goes in d1 that's what i want to look at indirect d1 click ok to that and then what you should see there are the towns or cities for yorkshire and if i change that to something else like durham what i should now see are the cities for durham so that's the cities in the green area because that's called durham and just to check the last one works as well northumberland and then you would select that northumberland the purple area so this is a conditional validation list only really works with named ranges so if you don't know about name ranges you're not going to be able to do this you can create another validity list that you select Blythe and it would only select the wards in Blythe but you'd have to have other tables with name ranges so for each of these areas you would have instead of Northumberland there you just move these along that would be wards and it would have to be for Blythe you'd break it down Cramerton, Ashington and Hexham big long list of wards and then that would show in this next one down so there's no limit into how many you can do how many columns you can do conditional but you can basically filter a sheet down by just selecting items and then moving it along so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can create a validity list and then have it conditional so the second validity list only shows you what is available from the first one so hopefully this video is of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one